Good morning, camp at home. How are you guys doing today? Uh, if we haven't met before, my name is Dan. I'm the senior pastor at the Plains Methodist Church, just a few miles <clears throat> down the road in the Plains, Ohio from Camp Otterbein. Uh, would have loved to have uh, been with y'all for a week this summer, but um, as things have happened, you know, with coronavirus, it just uh, didn't, di didn't shake out. And so uh, we're pleased to do this camp at home uh, thing and uh, explore scripture with you uh, here. And so um, these past uh, number of weeks, you've been going through uh, this series on loving God and you will be exploring loving others. And we've been um, working on, uh, sorry, my son is uh, pounding at the window. Say hi. Um, but so we've been exploring this, uh, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And then later we'll be loving others. Uh, today we get to explore what it is to love the Lord your God with all your strength. Uh, the story for this uh, week is out of 1 Samuel chapter 17. It's a pretty famous story, um, one you've probably heard before. It's David and Goliath. Now, uh, if you aren't familiar or, or need, just need a recap, we have uh, Goliath, who is a Philistine, coming against the Israelite army. Um, and remember, Saul is king at this time. David's not king yet. He's just a shepherd. And, Philist and Goliath comes out and says, uh, so I'm, I'm a Philistine and I'm a giant. And uh, we're told that he's like nine feet tall. Uh, when I think of this, I, I think of uh, Hagrid, the gamekeeper in Hogwarts and, or in the Harry Potter movies. Just this kind of really larger than life type of person, except angry. And he comes out and he says, I defy you all to find someone who can beat me. And if you beat me, this one person will do this one champion fight. If you beat me, we'll become your slaves and you can do with us as you want. If I beat your guy, though, however, then uh, you become my slaves. And he does this for a month. And finally, after 40 days of this, David finally hears this because he's gone to visit his brothers in battle. And he, he hears this and uh, he gets brought forward and uh, he says, I'll fight him. And so he gets brought to Saul and Saul says, okay, uh, here's my armor. Here's my sword. You don't have anything. I'll put this all on you. And David tries it out. He tries the army, tries the sword. And he says, listen, this is too much. I'm a shepherd boy. And, uh, but more importantly, the Lord, my God is with me. And he says, when I was in the shepherd, I didn't have, when I was in the field with my flocks, I didn't have anything. But I saved my, my, sheep, my sheep from the wolves and from the bears and from the lions with just my hands and my faith in God. And he says, this all is too much. The sword is too much. This, the, this, these uh, armor pieces are too much. And so he says, I'm just going to do what I do. And so he goes down to the brook and he uh, gets what he knows. He takes his sling and he gets some stones from the brook. And then he goes and he faces Goliath and Goliath taunts him and he says, you, you send out a child to me? Well, David being what David does, a shepherd, uh, seeing his sheep being in danger, lo looses one of these stones at Goliath, strikes him in the head, Goliath falls down, David runs up and he kills him. Famous story. But today I want to focus on this word, you know, strength is important and, <clears throat> and, and, and strength is significant, but before we talk about strength. I want to talk about this word, your. Love the Lord your God with all of your strength. You see, notice David loved God and beat Goliath with his strength, with what he knew. And that was enough. It was enough to live in this with what God had given him in the calling to do. He didn't need, and in fact, couldn't use Saul's armor and Saul's weapon. He didn't know how. That wasn't part of his strength. I think one of the difficult things about um, being a Christian today at any age is learning to love God with what we can bring to the table and not judging or be selfish or be jealous of what others might bring to the table, but simply stopping and saying, what do I have? What's the strength that I've been given that I can accomplish this task with. Now, the, the final thought to that is part of our strength is God himself. Um, so I've got a three-year-old. You just saw him in the, in the window here, I think. Um, I didn't look at the video to see if you, if you actually saw him or not. There he is. He's back. Can, can, he, can he wave? 
Hi. So that's my three-year-old in his uh, diaper because he just woke up from his nap. Um, but part of Gideon's strength, part of my son's strength, is the strength that I can give him, the strength that I can, I can lend to him. You see, his strength includes simply asking for my help. So our strength as Christians, the things that um, we're called to love God with, to accomplish whatever mission or um, strategy that God wants us to, includes us, us asking God for help. Lord, help me. I'm not strong enough to do this, but I know that you've called me to. I'm certain that there were prayers like that for David, where he said, listen, Lord, this dude's big and I'm a small boy, but here's what I have to offer. And I know that you're with me. So let's go and do this battle together. Friends, whatever you're facing today, whatever struggles or difficulties you're facing today, I want you to offer two things to God. I want to challenge you to offer God whatever strength that you have. But then I also want you to promise me and promise yourself that when you face your giants or your battles or whatever is in you, whatever you're going up against, that in that, you will ask God for his help because that certainly is part of our strength. Today, love the Lord your God with all of your strength. You pray with me? Almighty God, as my friends are watching this in their homes or wherever, I just ask that you would bless them and that you would encourage them, that you would show them the strength that you've given them for the, for the tasks that you've asked them to accomplish. And then also, Lord, show them exactly where you are with them, right beside them to help and to give the assistance that they need. Holy Spirit, go and do a mighty work in all of our campers today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Campers, hopefully I'll see you next summer. Bye.